beautiful friends, my name is Anna. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect steak. I mean restaurant quality, delicious, juicy, perfectly seared steak that you will absolutely love. It is the perfect recipe for Valentine's Day because it's very simple. It doesn't take a long time at all. You just have to sear for a couple of minutes and you're done. You can serve it with whatever type of sides you want. I like to serve mine with mashed potatoes or roasted potatoes and some in a salad or some veggies, whatever it is, it's just very simple to make. I'm going to show you the ingredients so we can go ahead and get started. Here I have some oil, pepper, salt, a little bit of butter, some rosemary and thyme, garlic, and of course we have our beautiful steak. I want to talk about the steak itself for just a quick second. Here I have a boneless ribeye steak. This is one of my favorite cuts to cook because as you can see, it has a lot of marbling and all of the marbling means flavor. It has a lot of fat in between and it's just gonna be very nice and tender and juicy and that's how I like my steak. This steak is about 10 ounces, which I think is good for a person. If you wanna do like a surf and turf and you wanna serve it with lobster, shrimp, whatever you want to do. I think a 10 ounce steak is perfect for two people. Um, I don't really eat a lot, so it's perfect for, it's perfect for me because you have other sides. You have, let's say like roasted potatoes or mashed potatoes, veggies, you know, you have a different things and then you have dessert. So a 10 ounce steak, it's perfect for one person if that's the only thing you're serving along with the sides. If you're going to do one steak, for two people, I think about a pound or a little bit over a pound steak will be perfect. And this is what you need to have to make a perfect steak. Obviously, you can make a perfect steak in any other type of skillet. If you want a really nice restaurant quality steak, I would say to use a cast iron. If you don't have a cast iron, I think the other option would be to use a stainless steel skillet. That's going to give you a very nice sear and crisp and crisp to your steak and it's gonna be so good. But if you don't have a cast iron, which I know not a lot of people do, and you should really, if you don't have one, you should invest in one because it's just that. I mean, I use my cast irons for everything and they're really not that expensive. You can find some really nice ones at Amazon, Walmart, Target for really inexpensive. And as long as you take care of it, you won't have a problem. So. Now that we got all of that out of the way, I just really wanted to explain uh, my sort of cooking situation and what I like to use to achieve that perfect steak. As you can see, I have my steak resting on some paper towel. And the reason I do that is because I don't want any juices, I don't want anything on my steak because your steak won't sear properly. It's going to start steaming and you won't have a perfectly seared steak. So make sure you pat dry your steak on both sides. Make sure it's completely dry and that's the way you're gonna get a really nice steak. I'm going to start preheating my cast iron here because we want it on really, really high heat. And when I'm saying really, really high heat, it's like hot. The next thing we wanna do is drizzle our steak. I learned that when making steak, you really don't wanna drizzle the pan, the skillet itself, you wanna drizzle the actual steak. So what I'm gonna do now is just drizzle a little bit of oil, season it with some salt, very, very nicely seasoned with some salt. Make sure you use plenty of salt because this is quite a thick steak. So, salt, plenty of salt, some freshly blacked pepper. So I'm gonna do the other side. Since my steak is a little thick on the sides, going to season the sides as well. So our steak, as you can see, is nicely seasoned. I'm going to smash, let me put this aside, smash my garlic. I'm going to peel it. As you can probably tell, my cast iron is very, very hot. So very carefully, I'm going to place the steak. It's gonna get very, very hot in your kitchen. Okay, so the way I like to cook my steak, I cook it in the flip every minute method. I know some people say that you shouldn't flip the steak at all until one side is done cooking, but I think that the flipping every minute gives you a better crust, like a thin, perfect crust. So that's the way I like to do my steak. So I cook it on one side. 
I flip it, I let it cook again for about a minute or so, and then I flip it again. I'm going to cook my steak for about, I would say five minutes because I like mine on like the medium side. So I'm gonna let it cook for about one minute on each side. And then I'm gonna flip it again and do the whole process all over it. Okay, so as you can see, my steak already has some beautiful, beautiful color. If you're gonna be able to tell from there. So now I'm going to go ahead, very carefully, add the butter. We're going to add the garlic and our herbs right in there. And then at this point, you just want to start basting your steak. Okay, so my steak is ready. I'm going to turn off the heat. Remember, I make sure to baste it. And now we're going to remove it from the heat and let it rest. Okay, so my steak, it's ready. I did let it rest for about two to three minutes. So none of the juices run out of the steak and it stays nice and juicy and perfect. Hopefully we didn't overcook our steak. I don't think we did, but hopefully we didn't. You can cook your steak depending on how you like it. I like my steak about medium. This is exactly how I like my steak. If you like yours, like I said, a little more raw, go ahead and cook it a little less, but this is just how I like it. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of pinkness, which is how I like it. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. This is a beautiful piece of steak, let me tell you. This is exactly how I like my steak. It is perfectly cooked to my preference. Coming from a person that used to eat well-done steaks, I can tell you that the less you cook it, the better it will be. I am still working on eating my steak a little more raw, but this is just how I like to eat the steak, and I think it's just absolutely delicious and fantastic. And I know you will love it because it is a perfect steak recipe. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this delicious steak recipe. As you saw, steak is very simple to make. You only need the right tips and tricks to make a perfect steak at home. And it is going to be absolutely fantastic. I loved having you here on my channel. I recommend you stay because we have a lot of delicious recipes coming up. So make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up down below. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.